Wangari was born in a small town in Kenya. She was a very good student as a child. She finished school with the best grades in class. This allowed her to enter the only institute for girls in the country, and when she was finished, she got a scholarship to go study in the United States. When Wangari returned to Kenya, she realized that the level of water was lowering in the rivers, the lakes were drying up, and the forests were diminishing. This was not only bad for the environment and animals, but also for the people, especially women, who had to walk further to collect firewood, food, and water. Wangari decided that something had to change. She realized that the problems were arising because they had cut down all of the trees. So to resolve it, she had to. But Wangari did not plan on doing it alone. She went from town to town to convince the women to plant new trees and protect the few that remained. She told them to search for seeds in the forest and then plant them in small cans. After the seeds were cared for and watered, they grew until it was time to transfer them. and let them grow into big trees. This simple idea became the Green Belt Movement, and since then, more than 40 million trees have been planted. That's a lot of trees! But Wangari did not stop there. She fought to turn her country into a democracy and get rid of its dictator. A few years later, she became the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources of Kenya. In 2004, Wangari received the Nobel Peace Prize for a lifetime of activism and major successes. She was the first African woman to receive this important award. Today, the Greenbelt Foundation that she founded continues to work for the environment and women's rights in Africa.